Is that Barrett? So <laughs> this is Barrett's first trip. We've started the process of putting the forms up. You can see they've chopped the lines where the outside of the wall is going, and those little white dots are where the rebar is going to be drilled into the the, the uh, concrete. The footing it'll be epoxied in, and that's acceptable for crawl space walls. If this was going to be a retaining wall, you'd want that coming up out of the footing. But it's just much easier to lay it out after you lay out the walls. Then you can get it perfectly centered. Ahí está la puta raya, pues. Sí, pero, pues, no. Dale, pues. It's getting cold down here. <laughs> Still got the porch column to form up. It's supposed to get down below zero tonight. Well, it would be the windshield below zero. It's supposed to get like down to 10, I think. Degrees. It's our foundation access door. Quite large, but should be functional as well <laughs> you can see here the system of ties that ties the walls together I've actually left these sticking out uh, on my found my personal foundations because um, like right here that'll be sticking out of the concrete when you're done and they usually go around and break those off but if like if you have a garage, a shop or something, you leave those up, you can use it to connect a shelving system to the concrete wall. Of course, we'll just break them off <laughs> on the outside of this wall, but just for future reference, dang, it's starting to get cold. The wind's starting to whip up now. Bloody mess out here.
got the full blown drama going. Got the kids that came out over there. And you see, that's the hole we're supposed to go in. So it looks like we're having just enough. That's, that's just Jesus' help right there now. Okay, I'm just going to tell you right now. Jesus is the man. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, let him rot it a little bit. It may go down a little bit. Thank you for being here and helping. No problem. <laughs> We would have never got the the truck up the hill. You seem sinking up now in that mud. If you're wondering, that's how they get it level. There's the laser. And they just go around and check it all the way around in case the forms aren't perfect. It's funny, I was just talking to the owner and uh, I was trying to explain kind of what we went through today and it's kind of hard to do, but and I know this is going to be a long video, but I thought I would just kind of summarize. You know, we knew we were going to have trouble and, and so I had already planned to have my dozer guy there and uh, really that's what saved us today. Um, the, the, it's so muddy, you know, the, parts uh, that had been graded had a, a layer of dirt on them. Really, I, we didn't intend to be there, but it just got there. Uh, and so that, that was right where the trucks were marring up. Um, and so they would get to that point and they couldn't turn or do anything. So we were basically maneuvering the concrete trucks around with the do do dozer. And so we had four trucks and all of them got stuck. We had to get them unstuck at the top and unstuck at the bottom where they were trying to turn around going over, you know, before they went over the creek. So anyway, and then to have the pump truck break, um, on the last truck, the piston somehow came out on the pump. I tried to show it. I don't know if you could see it or not, but, um, that was pretty much a tragedy it could have been because we had nine yards of concrete still basically eight yards of concrete still in the pump in the in the concrete truck and here the pump truck is broken and there's only really one way at the time we you know we just assumed that was the only way we were gonna, we were going to get that concrete in the walls well i don't know if it was divine intervention or what but all of a sudden we were just like hey move the pump truck We'll pull the, the, you know, the concrete truck up the hill with the dozer, and we'll get it. You know, we'll see if we can get it close enough uh, to run the chutes. 
that there was a carport wall uh, I mean the deck wall was keeping us from getting too close to the house so the chute was hanging over <laughs> just a couple of feet it was just that long enough to get in there and then I had figured that we were gonna have to have at least two and a half more yards and somehow miraculously we had enough concrete I don't know how we did because I, I, I don't, I'd still I'm still befuddled because there was a yard of concrete in the pump truck when it broke and I don't know I'm just gonna say thank you Jesus <laughs> <laughs> but if I can just get home tonight, I'll feel good. <laughs> So the forms are down. It's looking good. Those two are poured. I'll take the forms off of those tomorrow because the weather's warm enough. We finally started having Tennessee Januaries. It's 55 degrees. <laughs> nice.